For the Hadonite, we sold for 224.1 Alpha UEC. And the Aphorite, we're going to sell for 64k. So that brings our total for this little trip here to just on 290 odd thousand Alpha UEC. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Zero to Hero. This time, episode 6. So last episode, uh, we did some ground mining in a rock with a cutlass black. Made a decent amount of profit. Uh, today, I figure let's do something different. Uh, so we're going to go out, we're going to hire a constellation. And we are going to go and try some of the shadier ways of making money. Uh, so I figured we would try some drug smuggling to start with. And head on to some shady salvage missions. Salvage missions used to be good for getting, you know, three to 500k an hour, if you were lucky. Admittedly, admittedly you had to be very lucky to find the right um, products in the back of the ships. So we'll see if that holds true today. So we're here on Orison, heading out of Green Slopes, and we'll just make our way to the port where we can hire the Andromeda. So here we are at the Traveller Kiosk here on Orison at the port. And down the very bottom of the list there it is, the Constellation Andromeda. This does cost 70,000 Alpha UEC to hire. I am hoping however to make more than that back with the drug smuggling and with the salvage missions. So we, got a, we had about 380 to start with, we're at 310 right now. So let's see what happens. We'll head to the ASOP terminal, we'll spawn the Connie, and we will head on out. Now we're already in Daymar. Uh, there are set places in Daymar that you can get these illicit materials. Being private property on Selen, NT-99-XX on Yella, and on Brios you have the uh, Reclamation New and Waste, sorry, New and Waste is where you'll find the illicit materials and they're all sellable on Brios. This is actually quite a good uh, loop, presuming that the illicit materials are there. Obviously, by this stage, a lot of people know about this run, so your chances of A, finding materials to buy are low and B, the chances of running into a pirate or someone else who just wants to take advantage of you doing all the hard work and taking your cargo from you and selling it is relatively high as well. So here we are with the Constellation and the P-52 Merlin on the back. We'll go in through the cargo bay. I don't normally go in this way, but just for today, open up the cargo bay. This illicit running is something I used to do quite a bit back before 319 dropped. And it was profitable. Now I've got to find the point here to raise it. Where is it going again? No. Is it this end? Uh, there, there, I think. Yep. Is that it? Yes, there it is. Yes, if you're ever missing it, just hold down F and the little button will highlight a bit as you get closer. What was I saying? Yeah, so I used to do this quite a bit back in the 318 days, um, and it was profitable. These days, probably not so much because, like I said, everyone knows about it now. Uh, Connie was actually a good ship to do this in because it had a decent enough firepower and shields that, un you know, unless you came across someone who was really determined to take you down, you're fairly safe. We'll get this old girl up into the sky off of Orison. Uh, it is a bit of a slow exit from atmosphere. And the Andromeda's not a fast ship by any means. And I actually felt like it with the handling 
was a bit worse. It's, like I said, it's been a while since I've piloted the Andromeda. But I felt that the ability to pitch or your no, it's the no, it's the no, it's not even that. It's the rotation. I just felt like that was a hell of a lot slower than it used to be. A lot more sluggish. I don't know if CRG have fiddled with the flight characteristics of this ship, or maybe it's just my memory is bad and I don't remember it sucking as bad as it does. So anyway, here we are on Selen at private property. We will land here and see what there is to buy. Now, I don't have a lot of starting money. Ideally, if these things are full, you'd want about a million credits to fully load up this Andromeda. I highly doubt that will be the case here. Again, just noting how popular this sort of uh, loop is for making money pretty quickly. I just wanted to make sure I had my helmet on there. It would have been a rookie error to jump out. So we just call that elevator back. Get a weapon out just in case. You never know, right? Alright, back down the elevator. Alright, off into the building over here. Now, if there's anyone who doesn't know, these buildings can actually be quite good spots to get loot. So I've got one red crate here, we've got a backpack and a helmet. Uh, unfortunately that's a medium backpack, I'm wearing heavy armour so it's not compatible. I can't wear it, just to transfer it over into local. And this one we get a chest piece. Looks kind of cool. And there's sometimes there's more loot back here. Sometimes a white or red box will spawn there. And there, as you can see, there's a red box and a white box. We have the jumpsuits and some helmets. And this white box will just grab pretty much everything. Alright, now we head over to this terminal. This is where you would be able to buy stuff. Uh, hot tip for young players, don't leave your gun out. If you go to select something, you will shoot. Not shoot anyone in particular, but... Yeah, unfortunately, out of stock. There was stock there. I took a little bit too long, I think, to get to it, and someone else bought it. And that's kind of how... Uh, the trading works at this stage. So anyway, here we are on uh, Yellen at NT-99-XX, I believe the spot is called. And we'll see what they have here. Hopefully they have some stuff in stock for us to buy, otherwise this is a waste of 70 odd thousand alpha UEC. Yeah, and similar to the last spot, there is um, a bit of loot sitting around. It's always good to check those two spots there. I'll check for it after I buy anything. We got some Widow and some ETAM out of that. Just really quickly check these corners, see if there's anything worth grabbing. There is no loot. Head on out. So yeah, like I mentioned, this is a popular thing to be doing. 
so I'm not too surprised there's not a lot of stock of anything left. So next up we're going to head to Daymar and we'll head to New and Waste Facility. Hopefully we'll find some more there. Now New and Waste Facility tends to have all four of the types of illicit materials that just don't have slam. All of them are profitable, so it really doesn't matter what you get, you just got to get something. So yeah, here we are in Daymar, at that facility. Back at the airlock again, same deal as before, straight into the facility. You don't want to mess about here, you spend too long here, people might turn up and they might kill you and take all your stuff. There was a white loot container there. See what do they got? They got a bit of everything. So they got a bit of ultra top, al, ugh, al, whatever that one is. They got some widow. They got some etam, and they got some neon. Like I said, slams the only one they don't carry. It's a bit of stock of everything. That's good. I'll grab it all. That will actually probably tap me for money. Ninety-three k. Yeah, I'll be very close. I won't be able to buy all of this. So it looks like I just had a bit of a server tick then. And we're out of money. And that's okay. So, as you can see, I barely loaded even half of this Andromeda up. Move all of this across because all of that is useful at some point. Back out to the Andromeda and from here we'll head to Brio's. And Brio's is where you can sell all of this illegal stuff. It's the closest place. It's also generally the hottest place to sell it. Uh, a lot of people will camp Brios and wait for you to come in to try and sell your illicit goods. about to land. We'll land, we'll jump out and we'll sell some stuff. One thing I do do slightly differently here. Uh, normally you would run in through that area to my left there. I've decided to go around this way, just in case there's anyone floating around, expecting me to come from a specific direction. Uh, coming into Brio's, I always light up these corners to make sure there's no one there. Sometimes a loot box does also spawn. It's worth checking out. But really, you just want to get in, sell your stuff, and make sure that you're safe. There we go, 255 in total. Not too bad at all. Actually, it should be about 355. Uh, that display on the terminal doesn't always update from the last time you sold. So we'll probably fine, we got a bit more money than that. So that's always nerve-wracking, <laughs> that selling process. 
uh, expecting someone to come along and blow you up and take all your stuff. Didn't happen this time, so we got lucky. Uh, I don't want to repeat that again, though. Just We didn't make a whole hell of a lot. Uh, and flying around to those three different planets is dangerous. So I thought we would take on some of the um, slightly less than legal missions uh, to salvage ships. So those involve paying $10,000 for a ship and then going and looting said ship. Now we'll just do a quick montage of me looting some ships and see how we go at the end of it. so that's the end of that uh, we didn't get a whole hell of a lot out of it I don't expect we'll be making a lot of money from this but we're back here at Brio's to sell uh, normally this is where you would go if you'd picked up any of the more profitable items like the poison hides uh, sometimes there are drugs on board um, there are a few other bits and pieces. They're namely the green boxes. You wouldn't have seen any green boxes. We didn't find any. So as I'll find out, I don't actually need to be here at Brio's to sell. Um, and most of what I have picked up can actually be sold just at your standard TDD. Back at Orison. Or because they were ores, I could also have sold these at Port Olisar. Yeah, back in debris. I'm not so worried this time that I'm going to try and hide from people. I don't have that much money on board. And most parts will scan my ship and go, and he's got nothing. What's the point in trying to kill him? Still, check your corners. Holster your weapon. Log on in. And I actually can't sell everything. So I can sell the Borace here. As you can see, there's a whole other stuff. Laronite barrel. Some other bits and pieces that I've picked up. That I can't actually sell here. So we'll jump out of here. We'll head into Orison to the TDD. Now I did do seven missions. That's seventy thousand Alpha UEC, which is why our balance was so low. And we'll see how we come out with this. And somewhere along the way, as you can see, I injured my leg. I think I was trying to EVA out through the um, elevator on the Connie and somehow fell and damaged my leg. Didn't stop me from running at all, which is good. So we'll sell the Laronite we get for that 17k. Barely covers the cost of one mission. That's 13. So we've essentially lost... Well, 50, 50k doing that so that is obviously not profitable anymore unless I just didn't get lucky which is entirely possible anyway that's, uh, that's it for this one not as exciting an ending as the last episode but anyway thanks for joining me thanks for watching uh, if you like what I'm doing here hit that like button uh, subscribe Leave a comment below if there's anything you want to see me do in a future video. If you're liking this series, then uh, let me know and we'll continue doing the Zero to Hero. Otherwise, uh, we'll move on to something else once this one's wrapped up. Cheers for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. See ya.